Since it began, Snow's Giving has brought millions of people in Discord together. It introduced exhilarating events and contests. It hosted countless merch and nitro giveaways. It raised close to a million dollars for various charities. It was Discord's most influential event, and now it has officially been cancelled. Hello everyone, this is Soundrout, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the fall of Discord's Snowsgiving event. So first of all, let's go back to the beginning. Back to the ye old days of 2017. Snowsgiving was actually quite a small event compared to what we have seen more recently. Discord began releasing some tweets hinting at the event and giveaways that they would be doing. So this was the first ever announcement of Snow's Giving on December 11th, 2017. They released this little Twitter post saying that it would begin and that they would be giving away stuff all week to celebrate Wumpus's favorite holiday. Soon after that tweet, they released a Facebook post which was the last giveaway for the first day of Snow's Giving, where they gave away a pair of headphones, which is pretty neat. On day two of Snow's Giving, we saw another giveaway with a Discord hoodie, snapback hat, and some other things. And then on day three, we saw a Discord beanie, scarf, and turtleneck sweater that were given away. So their final post about Snow's Giving was on December 18th, where they announced it was over. That was the entire event. Pretty short, right? All they did was give away some merch to people through their socials. So let's move on to the next year where they amped it up quite a bit. They announced the first day of the 2018 Snow's Giving on December 4th with a Twitter post again saying it's giveaway season. They'll be giving away lots of games, swag, and hardware. After Snow's Giving 2018 ended, they released a blog post which basically covered a lot of what happened there. They talked about how they gave away lots of game codes, hardware, and Discord merch, alongside some in-store game discounts. They also hosted a Minion Masters tournament with some cash prizes. They talked a little bit about the tournament here with $25,000 worth of prize money. Finally, the Discord wiki talks about how at the end of 2018, Discord Snow's Giving happened, and every Hype Squad member got a free month of Discord Nitro, and they could share their Nitro with everyone that had a Discord account. 2018 was a lot more interesting than the previous year for sure. Not only did Discord give away $25,000 worth of prize money to people in their tournament, but they also gave away a free Discord Nitro gift to anyone that was a Hype Squad member. Just a reminder, joining the Hype Squad was completely free and only took a few minutes. All you needed to do was complete a quiz and join one of their teams. So, giving away Nitro to all of these members was extremely generous of them. I believe that was the one and only time in which Discord gave away free Nitro gifts on such a large scale. In fact, some people were able to accumulate so many gifts from other people that they had years worth of Nitro by the end of the event. I'm pretty sure Discord regretted doing that, so it's most likely why they've never continued it. Also, another fun fact, it was the first time that I had ever gotten Nitro before. With such a strong event, how could they top it with the next one? Well, let's see exactly what they did. They started off Snow's Giving 2019 on December 2nd with another Twitter post talking about how people could win Nitro codes, headsets, hoodies, Nintendo Switches, and more. And they also talked about raising money for Arbor Day with Team Trees. So this was the Tiltify Arbor Day Foundation fundraiser where in 2019 they raised quite a lot of money as you can see over their goal of $100,000. Here's another post that Discord made right after Snow's Giving began, where they talked about how they raised $40,000 for Team Trees in only two hours. Wow. Here's another post they did on Instagram, where they showcased a bunch of art that people made for Snow's Giving. There was some really impressive work made here. Nice job, guys. Also, someone uploaded a video here showing that during 2019, a lot of people were trying to enter these giveaways. Uh, 12,000 right now for a Discord hoodie and scarf bundle. Here's another post that included a really cool giveaway with a weird looking GameCube and some games alongside a cozy Discord hoodie and t-shirt. And all you had to do was like and retweet for a chance to win all of it. Nice. Finally, another giveaway they did in 2019 
was this custom PC by NZXT. Really cool because it themed after Discord Snow's giving. I found a Reddit post here about how they struggled to make a giveaway during the 2019 giveaways. The bot completely broke because too many people were joining at once. So, they decided to contribute quite a lot of money towards Team Trees that year, providing over $107,000 in contributions to help planting trees. Also, it's worth mentioning that the CEO of Discord, Jason Citron, provided a $1,000 donation as well, which is pretty neat. They also gave away some nitro codes, headsets, hoodies, and lots of hardware to people. The custom PC was incredibly cool, by the way. I would love to have that. So, that was a very eventful Snowsgiving. Let's see what they did in the following year. So, Discord made a blog post with the start of 2020's Snowsgiving. They talked about having people join their Snowsgiving 2020 server right here, and how they would begin festivities on December 7th. One thing they did, which is pretty neat, is musical performances, which was streamed on Twitch and YouTube, and even Dead Mouse participated, which is pretty cool. They also talked about how they would run an annual charity drive in support of Doctors Without Borders, which was about the COVID-19 pandemic. And they had a goal of $150,000, which is pretty cool. And they announced that alongside the 150,000 goal, Discord would be adding 50,000, which is making the total goal 200,000. So this is the campaign for the Snowsgiving 2020. You can see their goal was 150,000 and they managed to raise 156,500, just over that goal. And something really cool that they did during this year, on December 10th, they gave away a Blurple Tesla, which was kids fun sized and battery powered. And you could see some real pictures of it down here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Overall, this was a very solid Snowsgiving event. They donated over $200,000 to help with COVID relief, and that probably saved a lot of lives. While the musical performances were unique, they were kind of overshadowed by everything else that happened. This was a great Snow's Giving though, and now it's time to look at what happened next year. Now we move on to Snow's Giving 2021 with another blog post that they made after it finished. They talked about how they had over 1.2 million people that came together for their server and then raised $512,000 in support of to write love on her arms. They talked about how they created 180 pieces of art, 240 songs, and 30 emoji sets for every community. Also, for the first time ever, they celebrated the season with limited time snows giving sounds and visual effects. Something hilarious they did was send Wumpus to space as well. They even made a Twitter post with a little video here where they talked about their snows giving surprise and they packed someone up for a special trip to space. They did it after a promise of 3 million followers, and uh, here it is. So I found this video by Steve C talking about the Snowsgiving 2021 server. You can take a look at it here, it's now completely gone, but it was extremely active when it was actually an event. A really cool thing that they did during Snowsgiving 2021 was introducing a custom mechanical keyboard with all of the funds going to charity. And they had a cool dark themed keyboard here with some unique icons on the keycaps. And they talked about how they opened their charity merch store here. Alongside the keyboards, they also had a holiday hoodie bundle here. And here is a article talking about how their Discord server was the first one to reach a million members. Here's a screenshot of that. It was incredible to see. And in this blog post, they talk about how it's completely unworkable. He said that conversation is impossible in a situation like this. I could see that happening for sure. This year's Snow's Giving was immense. They raised the largest amount of money from any Snow's Giving that has occurred an insane amount of over half a million dollars. What's more, this money went to a great nonprofit movement that supported those who struggle with depression or addiction. Not only that, but they hosted lots of events and contests over the period of eight days in their Snowsgiving server. This server was the very first one to reach one million total members. And who could forget sending Wumpus to space? Anyways, let's get onto the last Snowsgiving that ever happened in 2022. All right, so there was another blog post created after Snowsgiving 2022 ended, which talked about what happened during the event. 
They had a little video to accompany it, and the main thing that they did was raise 129000 in support of the Crisis text line. So they did a lot of other things in the Snowsgiving server, like the AMA, Discord DND, a session of Discord staff artists drawing, a special co-op speedrun of Stardew Valley, and some more. They also released some winter-themed activities, and then festive emojis, video backgrounds, profile banners, and even playable games that they'll enjoy at any time of the year. They created a special bot that gives daily quests and completing them would unlock rewards that Nitro subscribers could get. Unfortunately, the bot went down a lot and it was kind of a mess. While it seemed to be a pretty successful event, YouTuber Gesture released a video talking about how it was a disaster. Most of the criticisms came from the fact that the Snow's Giving bot went down a lot of the time. You can see another post here on the Discord subreddit talking about how the bot was completely offline and not working properly. You could see a lot of other people having the exact same issue and saying that the bot showed as offline. I mean, the event wasn't a complete disaster. The community did manage to raise $129,000 for the Crisis Text Line, but still, that was less than a quarter of what they raised in the previous year. Sadly, the Snow's Giving Discord server met its end at this point. They no longer use that server and instead migrated to the Discord Town Hall server. This server is still available to this day, and you can see people asking about what happened to Snow's Giving in 2023. That brings us to now, where in 2023, it seems like the entire event has been cancelled. Sadly, some Discord staff members have confirmed that Snow's Giving will not be continuing in 2023. The reason for this is still currently unknown. Luckily, we have received a response about what's going to happen in the coming years with Snow's Giving. QuickBlend, the partnership manager at Discord, has stated that they will update us on what's happening in 2024. So, Snow's Giving has changed a lot throughout the years. It started off as a small giveaway of some merch and ended up at millions of people joining together and raising half a million dollars for charity within a month. Snow's Giving has undoubtedly left a mark on everyone that was involved, and it was the greatest event in Discord history. Hopefully, we'll see a return of this massive event in the coming years. That's all for now, I hope you enjoyed this little documentary on Snow's Giving, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.